So this is a space on the lake from which I started off my swim. We had a video of it, but unfortunately I didn't keep the copy when I switched phones. This is a very sacred space for me. It's a space of healing. I felt really lost and alone. And it was October 9th. I never forget that. 2015. I'd been working with Keridwen for 13 years. And at the time I didn't realize how important that number would be. And I stood here with my husband who had tried to dissuade me for months from doing this, especially in October, because this is North Wales and October is an extremely cold month. But I had the guidance from Goddess to do this at that time on that date. There was only one other couple here by the lake. They were in their caravan. So I took off all my clothes, wrapped a sarong around me, asked Terry to place himself into this tree with his camera. And then at the time, just as the sun had gone down behind that hill, behind that mountain. I stepped into the waters. I dropped the sarong and I swam. Now I will say that I'm an excellent swimmer. I'm a lifeguard. I'm a rescue swimmer. So I had no doubt that I could make it but I didn't realize how cold the water would be. And interestingly, as I came into the middle of the lake and I turned around and faced up and down, diving deep down and calling to the goddess to accept me as her priestess. I didn't realize that this is like a cauldron this particular lake, although shaped like a yoni, the acoustics are like a cauldron. And afterwards, my husband told me that as soon as I started speaking, although I felt I was speaking quite softly, <clears throat> my voice could be heard right to the shore and beyond. And the people that had been in the other field vanished and entered a caravan and slammed the door behind them getting away from the nutters it always tickles me so I swam across I had promised only to swim to the center and then come back again but I swam to the center I gave goddess my vow and I felt compelled to swim the whole of her lake sit on the other side and just commune for a moment and then step back into the water and come back. I've since done this several times. It's actually a really beautiful swim. But what people don't know is that in the center of the lake, two rivers run in opposite direction underneath the water. And it's deep, 150 feet deep. And if you drown, you're not coming back up. I'd made my will, I had my insurance, but that's not the point. I was scaring Terry, but I had to do this. It was my destiny to be a priestess of Carriagewen and to swim the lake. I had no idea what would come after. I had no idea. I had no idea that I would be teaching anything. All I wanted was to dedicate myself to the goddess on this side of the lake and then initiate into her mysteries on the other side. 
having swum in her womb, in her warm waters, literally. In the center of the lake, there is a spot where you feel surrounded, like an eddy of energy that is all her. She surrounds you and there's an umbilical cord that grows. So unlike babies, when they leave the womb, the umbilical cord gets cut. Here, when you swim this lake, the umbilical cord, the th silver cord of connection with goddess, becomes stronger, becomes far brighter. And so, coming back, my husband tells me, was his initiation. Because there was nothing he could do if anything happened to me. He is not a great swimmer. There was nobody around. Nobody could have helped me. And it was him ha having to overcome his fear and trust in the goddess. And he swam with me in spirit and urged me on not to falter. It was a magical moment between the three of us. Terry and me and our love and the love of both of us for Goddess and the trust in her and the surrender and knowing that only she can save me. If anything happened to me, if I got cramp or I started getting exhausted, only the Goddess would be able to hold me and bring me home safely. Surrender and trust is what he did. And when I stepped out of the water and into his arms, holding that sarong on the 9th of October, 2015, we became one soul dedicated and initiated by the goddess Caledwin. He has been supporting me ever since. I cannot walk this path. I cannot overcome the obstacles. I cannot do my work without my husband and my priest to my priestess. He is the beauty of all we behold. He is my tegit. He is my shining warrior. He is my beloved. I am so grateful to him and I'm so grateful for him stepping up like that, overcoming his fears, coming into union, deeper union with me and deeper union with the goddess. He is my beloved. He is my shining one. And together we serve the goddess. There is no separation there is only love of all existences and love for each other and first and foremost love for the goddess from Bala Lake 2021 six years on And the waves on the lake. If you could feel it, you could feel the warmth in the wind, in the beauty of this landscape, and in the castle below the waves. The veils are thin when you truly believe, and you can catch a glimpse of what you need to see. So mote it be, blessed be.